discouragement, fear, failure. Only a few years ago, these stalked the nation. Depression haunted America. We groped, we struggled, we found the way to better times. Today, depression is a fading memory. Millions of men and women have found employment and with it, confidence and hope. The Great Works program has removed a vast army from relief rolls. It revived lagging industry, restored morale, and renewed courage. In a program which covers the entire nation, Massachusetts takes an important place. Nearing completion in Springfield is the preliminary work on Crosstown Boulevard, one of 198 city streets constructed or improved under the Works program. Employing hundreds of skilled and unskilled workers, this two-mile boulevard project includes the laying of sewers and water mains, the construction of culverts and a traffic underpass, and the drainage of a large swamp. The improvement of the George Wright golf course and the construction of a clubhouse will provide Boston with a second municipal course. Many skilled workmen are employed in the construction of the gymnasium for a vocational school at New Bedford, utilizing materials salvaged from demolition projects. Thousands of workers drawn from relief rolls are employed in the construction or improvement of secondary roads throughout the state. Local labor and native materials are utilized. At Worcester is one of 253 sewing rooms in which garments are made for distribution to needy families. In these projects, 19,000 women are employed. Expert craftsmanship is encouraged and skill is preserved in costume design groups associated with the sewing projects. As part of the Federal Art Project, Trained artists are given the task of restoring and cleaning a number of historically important paintings in institutions and public buildings. Gloucester Harbor and other picturesque spots along the Massachusetts coast have for many years been favorite subjects for the artists of many lands. The Federal Art Project, operating in this famous center of American art, has employed a number of skilled men and women to paint scenes of historic importance and make studies of local industry for use in schools and public institutions. Under the works program, artists, musicians, writers, and actors contribute their share to the cultural development of the community. Field houses for parks and playgrounds have been constructed at 27 locations as part of the Parks Improvement Program in Massachusetts. In the Greenfield Municipal Swimming Pool, we have one of 32 WPA bathing beach projects now in operation. The trained supervisors and instructors provided for these recreation centers are drawn from relief roles. Under competent instructors, swimming and life-saving methods are taught. Healthful recreation and supervised play are provided at 101 playgrounds constructed or improved by WPA. Municipal authorities and educational leaders have expressed enthusiastic approval of these projects which help to build better citizens. A model building class is part of the Marblehead Recreation Project. WPA Recreation Projects in Massachusetts employ 3,000 instructors and supervisors who serve more than one half million children and adults each week. A test of steering ability is one of a series developed by a member of the Harvard Bureau for Street Traffic Research in a study intended to cut down the annual toll of auto deaths. The test apparatus was provided by WPA. For the protection of pedestrians, safety islands have been built. Erection of traffic signs, relocation of street lights, and the painting of markers and fences are part of this project. Improvements at the congested Park Street Transfer Station in Boston will result in greater safety and convenience for passengers using the city's elevated system.
Silicosis caused by the inhalation or absorption of granite dust has in the past caused the death of one granite worker in every three. A WPA project to eliminate this industrial hazard is underway in cooperation with the Massachusetts Division of Occupational Diseases at Quincy. Devices for removing the dust by suction are developed and tested here with the object of producing apparatus which the smallest granite workshop can afford to install. Along the busy coast of Massachusetts, the life of every mariner is safeguarded by the vigilance of the Coast Guard. At Sandwich on Cape Cod, the works program has aided this important service by the construction of a well-equipped station building. Included in this project is the new garage housing motorized rescue apparatus. The valor and efficiency of the Coast Guard was a tradition long before modern apparatus like this was invented. Now, with the aid of modern science, the value of this great organization is multiplied many times. Frequent rescue drills keep the men in training for their arduous duties. In the public nursing projects in Massachusetts are employed graduate and registered nurses who have been removed from relief roles. Some of the nurses visit homes upon the advice of registered physicians, offering instruction to needy and working mothers in the care and feeding of children. Special attention is given to prenatal instruction, maternity care, and general health supervision. This program does not displace any nurses normally employed. In cooperation with the works program, the National Youth Administration, which enables young people to earn money to continue their education, employs a group of young Gloucester men, some of them from seafaring families. Under the supervision of the superintendent of fisheries, they're engaged in a project involving the catching and breeding of fish and the restocking of the fishing grounds. With a native aptitude for fishing, these boys are doing invaluable work at the only saltwater hatchery in the state. At the Perkins Institution for the Blind in Watertown, a project is underway involving the development of map-making machines and the embossing of plates for raised maps, making possible the study of geography by the blind. Another project in Boston has completed the publication in Braille of 15 important literary works and a map and street index of the city. The proofreading on these projects is done by sightless experts in Braille. In the Boston district, instruction is given in the reading of Braille maps. The publications of this project will be made available to public institutions. 10,000 children and adults are receiving free music lessons through the Massachusetts Music Teachers Project, and there's a waiting list of 19,000 applicants. Vocal and instrumental music is taught by qualified instructors employed by WPA. This project does not take pupils away from private teachers because all of the students are members of needy families unable to provide funds for private instruction. In connection with this project, a number of musical groups have been organized in various parts of the state. In Boston, a harmonica band provides recreation and instruction for children of needy families. In South Boston is one of 208 nursery schools established as part of a broad educational program in which WPA has helped millions of children and adults. Here, children of working or needy mothers are provided with hot meals, supervised recreation, medical attention, and excellent preschool training under trained instructors drawn from relief roles. In Massachusetts, WPA employs more than 100,000 men and women. Every project has been undertaken at the request of the community in which it is located. Long after depression has been forgotten, these permanent improvements will remain as part of a better Massachusetts.